So I'm here with Alec Gomez. He's a pitcher for the Yakima Valley Yaks. And, and uh, Alec, one of the first questions I have for you, coming out of your season is just starting off, but what things are you hoping to accomplish and what things are you working on for this season? Uh, I'm just working on uh, putting my team in a chance to win every time I come out, um, you know, filling up the zone, uh, trying to go deep in ball games as a starter, and, you know, uh, hopefully we'll come out with some wins. And um, last year was a hard team to keep up with compared to this year, so, I mean, we're going to be we're gonna be striving to, to beat, beat our team last year. So, I mean, we got second place last year, and hopefully we come out with some, some good wins this year. And you mentioned second place. You guys did make it to the, the title game for NWAC, um, lost to, to lower Columbia, but you guys had a great run, a tremendous run. What things do you guys have to improve upon to really complete that run this year and, and win the championship? Um, I think we just got to stick to the process. Um, you know, just keep, keep the little things in mind and um, know that, if we, we give it our all and, and we're all in, bought into our team and uh, stick to our process, then good things will happen and, you know, we might end up right there again. So, And then, you know, for you, you know, you're at this level, it's not an accident. You've actually had to work hard to make it this far. But it also takes sometimes people pushing you to get this far. So who in uh, your life has been that kind of that motivator, that person to push you to, to be your best? Uh, probably my dad, you know, he always he's always been there every night when I when I needed to go home and f from high school and stuff. But also Coach Coach Crush Angel here is really good. Um, he has high expectations for this team, and then that that can only make your ceiling the limit. So um, yeah, I think Crush Angel is really big here, and I think we have a, a good chance this year as well. And then you, know, you talked a little bit about high school. Um, Baseball from high school level to college is it's pretty different, you know. It's still baseball, but the, the challenges, the, the whole atmosphere is different. What things have you had to really adjust going to that, that next level? Um, in high school, I got away with throwing a lot of off speed that just wouldn't get hit. You know, in high school, they couldn't hit it. But there's kind of a saying here, like, college is like every high school's best hitter. So instead of facing the high school best hitter, you know, you're facing them every single time here, one through nine. These guys are good hitters, especially lower Columbia here. They're really disciplined hitters. But, um, yeah, I think just being able to throw every pitch in the zone. I mean, I have four pitches, and, and being able to fill up the zone and, and also throw it where I want if it needs to be a ball, I can throw it there too. So that's kind of well, also what I'm working on this year as well. So. And they know for a lot of players growing up, they'll look at major league players and you know, try and either copy them with their style or maybe just their attitude. Is there a major league player who you've enjoyed watching and maybe kind of mimic a little bit? Uh, that's a good question. Um, probably Justin Verlander. I think that guy's uh, pretty mentally strong as well as he has a good arsenal of pitches that do very different things but come out of the same tunnel. So I'm working on tunneling pitches as well. So. Awesome. And the last question I have for you, you know, being at the ballpark, you know, it's a game where kids can come and enjoy and watch and also play. What advice would you have for those kids who want to make it to the next level, you know, and compete like you are? Um, you know, at the end of the day, it is a, it is just a game that I love to be here, and I I, I love the process as well. I love uh, working out. I love coming to practice with the boys. So I mean, you gotta you gotta love every aspect of the game, not just not just playing, not just hitting home runs, but you know, you're a Hall of Famer if you succeed three out of ten times. You can't say that much in any other sport. So stick to it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.